Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. My name is Samuel Vidal and in this third part we are going to continue editing this superhero character. So first thing I'm gonna do is select the armature and go to post mode. Then I'm gonna press Alt R to put this um, bones on their default positions, which is a uh, T pose. Now I'm going to select the jacket and I'm going to go to edit mode or pressing tab. I'm going to deselect everything, go to face select, and the first thing I want to do is get rid of this brass latches and rivets here. So, best way for me to do that is select the material, select everything here, and press delete faces. And then, you know, this part here too, just going to delete them. Okay, I'm going back to object mode. <coughs> The first thing I'm going to do here now is um, with the jacket selected, I'm going to press Shift H to hide everything else. Shift H and it hides everything else. <coughs> then I'm going to create a material, a new material here using the same one, the HD jacket. <coughs> Except now this one, I'm going to make a new instance of it by pressing new material. And then I'm going to rename it pink. This is going to be a pink. If you notice in the photo for the jacket here. So now I'm just going to go press tab for edit mode and press A to select everything and then I'm going to assign that one this new material here now just gonna add in the uh, shader note here I'm gonna add <coughs> I'm gonna go to color and then I'm gonna go to hue saturation just gonna add that one there in the base color and then on the hue settings here, I'm going to put on 7. And then on the value setting here, we're going to put it 2.5. There. Now I'm going to press Alt H to bring everything back. <coughs> Sorry about that. And now well, we'll save it first. And then let's do a render test. So you know how the material looks. Okay, yeah, that looks about right. Okay, now I'm gonna make the, um, the sleeves here on um, purple. So again, checking the image, the purple, and after that we'll be, you know, cutting parts of the jacket, which in this case is going to be this part here. So again, Shift H to hide everything else, and now we're going to go to Edit Mode, <coughs> deselect everything, and then I'm going to press C for the Circle Select, and going to start selecting these edges here without selecting this part here, of course. You deselect by pressing the, the scroll, the middle scroll, and then select by pressing the left um, button on the mouse. Let's see if I can try to do this quick. Okay, now we got that select. C 
say you gotta make sure you don't select this part here that you don't want to like this one it's part of the jacket I think okay and then we'll go here because I don't want to select this part so like here I'll be selecting all these edges here. Then I will um, <clears throat> assign this um, purple material. Okay. Now I'm going to press H to hide everything and then select one of them and press Control L to select everything else and then I will apply this material. See. Now to bring everything back it will be Alt H. Now I will be doing the same thing on this other side. And as you can see I already had the other sleeve here. So now I'm gonna go and start um gonna cut this part here, this lower area here from the jacket. So I think the best way for me to do that is going into, I'm going to press Z and go to wireframe or you can come here to select this uh, wireframe <coughs> and I'm going to go to edit mode and I'm going to try to align that there and I'm going to select everything and then I'm going to press B to select the it goes that uh, lasso selection I don't know and I'm going to select that there and I'm going to go to the material shading option here and then the circle select just going to select the areas that I can select with the lasso select Okay, and now I press X, delete faces, and then there's some tiny faces here we want to get rid of. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> now all H to bring everything back. And now we'll make a render test to see how it's looking. Okay. Now we gonna I'm gonna do is adjust her jacket see because you see a lot of like an open space here between her the <coughs> corset and the jacket. Yeah, it looks it looks bad. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> so <coughs> in this case I'm gonna go to sculpt mode here. And I'm going to use the brush grab. And then on the radius, I'm just going to go a little bit, increase it, probably, let me see. Yeah, probably like 778, uh, pretty much like that. Or maybe 70, yeah, just like that. <clears throat> and now I'm going to start, oh, and let me deselect the X here. This is for the mirror, like if you do one side, see, the other one will will mimic the same thing but we, I'd like to deselect that and I'm gonna start pushing everything here 
you know, close to her body. So it doesn't look weird. So you can push it back up. And sometimes you have to go and check when you push, try to push the edges, but everything else will go along. Say like over here, or you just put it back up. And push this back. Push this one back. Still, this one need to push it. <coughs> Sorry. It will decrease the radius. I need to decrease in order to push that part there. So there we go. Still, see. Another way also to fix something like this could be going to add a mole and you can do that as well. Okay, also over here, see? Kind of look weird. If we can push it a little bit. I must have pushed this by accident because I wasn't like that before. And what happened is by this jacket being so, like it looks like it's really away from, you know, like a big, like if, if this jacket was very big, too for her size then you know it makes look her her breast will be way too big and that's the reason why you see me kind of pushing everything in so it doesn't look like that she try to push everything in so it'll be tight to her body Okay, I'm just gonna leave it like that, I guess. <coughs> Doesn't look that bad. <coughs> okay. Gonna hit save. So, let's do a render test. Okay, it's not that bad. Okay, now that we have that complete, let me check and make sure everything's looking fine. Okay. Now I'm gonna go to the, her trousers here. And I'm just gonna select these two options. So when I hit now edit mode, it'll stay there in place. And I will be like in the picture here, be cutting you know the upper part there the top part so I'll probably start from here selecting those faces here press X faces and then select one control L and it selects everything and then X faces okay <coughs> Now the same thing here, you know, I want to get this um, trousers here as close as, uh, as, her, as close to the body. So for me to do that, this time I'm going to, instead of using the sculpt mode, I'm going to do it in the edit mode, 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the vertex select. And then I'm just going to press here. I'm just going to click in this vertice. Press Shift, Alt, and then click the right the right click to select everything else. Same thing here. Shift, select one vertice. Shift, Alt, right click. <coughs> select the other. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale this but I want everything else to scale with it within its own um, what you call point um, with its own origin. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. <coughs> so I'm going to go here to the transform pivot point and individual origins. Well, they kind of, I guess, their own origins. See, now if I scale, they they scale to their own origin, not not the whole thing. But I want everything else to scale. So for me to do that, I will press the proportional editing here. And I'm going to select connected only. That way it doesn't, this one doesn't influence this one, this one doesn't influence this one. Now when I press scale, you see, I don't know if you're able to see it. That circle there is the what influence, whether how much amount of, of you know, faces or, or vertices will scale, see. See, if, if I do this, then the entire thing will scale. And that's not what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do, because I don't want that much scale in there. Yeah, I guess scale out a little bit. Okay, that looks good. Let's go on the X too. Just a little bit. And then I will select this. Kind of push it around a little bit. Just to move it and align it. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Now I will deselect the proportional editing and I will select again this top edges here and I'm going to press E for extrude and now I'm just going to scale see the reason they are scaling in their own origins because I still got the 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 transform the pivot points in the individual origins see if I were to put them here in median then see what happens everything scale at the same time so an in the individual they will scale in their own origin point there okay now I'm going to again to put it in edge select and select these edges and then I'm going to press W and bevel edges and then it start beveling but with the scroll I can always select here to to increase the the loops on when you bevel how much loops do you want to make it more round or curved and, and that bevel edge there <coughs> so I don't know I guess this looks fine yeah it looks fine like that 
Yeah. I, I notice that here it looks a little bit weird. So um, proportional editing. And I can always turn this and push it a little bit so it doesn't look that weird. Let's see. Doesn't look right there. Okay. I know it looks, this here looks kind of like too thick. But I'm just going to leave it like that because I, I know it's going to take me probably quite a while to fix it and you know just trying to make this video short so <clears throat> not to fix the imperfections here you see the faces here of the trousers intercepting with, with the one with of the boots so the faster way I can do that so I don't spend that much time is I'm just going to select face here and this faces here and I'm just going to cut it see that way I don't have to spend time you know pushing everything and I'm going to go to vertex select select this bottom edges here this bottom vertices here I'm going to press 3 for the <coughs> right view I'm going to press G and I, I still got the proportional editing on so I will adjust it see and then I will move this edges here okay I'll probably scale a little bit okay Okay. Now I'm going to select the her boots. <clears throat> Let's see, I'm gonna press this. Stay on. <clears throat> the first thing I need to do here is I'm gonna fix this with the proportional editing but I'm gonna go here and deselect the connected. So for now, hold on. Okay. I'm just gonna go and wireframe here for a moment so I can see. I'm going to select what I what I meant to say before the the proportional editing was the the level of influence once like when you do something that level of influence see if if I were if I were to to do the connect here connect only this part here will be influence because it's only the connected part here but on checking this then it would of course it will influence everything that's around depending on how big this influence is that's, that's how I was trying to look to to explain it so another way like to avoid another way to avoid when when trying to edit something using the proportional editing without affecting this one is you could always select this here I guess it's the left boot and hit H and hide it and then of course now you can work on this without fear of you know messing this one and now I will select everything go back to material and then I will be scaling the y axis Let's push this a little bit. I think the influence is too much already. Let's push this. We'll 
push this a little bit. Yep. That looks good there. I don't know why that looks the way it looks like that, but it must be an error on the texture map or something. Uh -huh. Now to bring the other boot back up, um, Alt H. Then let's go. Wireframe. Now we're gonna select this one and hide it. And now we're going to select this edge here. Okay. And then Alt H to bring everything back up. So we do the render test. Let's see how she's looking. Okay. Pretty much looking good. At least. And so far, I'm guessing this will be it for this third part of the video. So in the next video, let me see. I probably will be doing the belt and the cape. I probably will be doing that. And then the the com I wanna do like a com communicator, like like I don't know, a screen communicator that that goes here, but I'm gonna do that in a separate um video. So, so I'm guessing I'm just gonna do on the, on the next one and then on the fourth part video now I'm gonna do the belt and the cape so that's it for this video um, thank you for watching this video and if you like this video please like subscribe and I'll see you in the next one